Okay, so I am making this video to show how I have made my own characters on Cartoon Animator 4 without having any artistic talent at all. I think I was like 51 years old when I started, and never in my life had I been able to draw anything more sophisticated than like a stick figure. Anyway, so before I get started here showing you what I can do on Cartoon Animator, I need to start over here on Snagit Editor. You'll need a good image editing software to get started, and I found that Snagit Editor works really well for my purposes. Um, I had to pay for it, but it's been worth it. And there may be better uh, software out there. I don't know. Um, feel free to leave me comments. Anyway, some basic functions here are all just the lines and the shapes and the text. And with the lines, you can use uh, Bezier curves to smooth out rough edges and give you a less angular look. Um, this is extremely simple and probably not as sophisticated as maybe some others could teach you. Now this is the first character I ever used in Cartoon Animator. This is Ted. Ted is pretty basic, again, uh, not much more sophisticated than a stick figure. Ted has bones, as you see here, and the bones are overlaid with sprites, which are the pictures used to make the character. You have the feet, the legs, the arms, the hands, the torso here, and then the face with the mouth, the hair, eyebrows, eyes, and ears. Originally, Ted had one sprite for the hair, but uh, as you can see here, there are different, they have three separate uh, strands of hair, and his ears also have an additional sprite that it didn't have in, uh, originally, but this is basically Ted. Now let's say you want to draw uh, say a mouse. We'll start with a cartoon mouse face. <clears throat> I'm just going to Google cartoon mouse face and because I don't know how to draw a mouse face. I don't know how to draw anything. And we're going to look at all these different kinds of mouse faces. Look, just kind of looking at the ears look pretty simple. They're just circles. The nose is either a circle or like a, almost a triangle. They have whiskers. This one looks more like a bear. And I'm not trying to copy anybody else's work. I'm just looking at all these different uh, interpretations to try to get some idea of what I want my mouse to look like. And this one I like. It's just basic shapes. It's it's just a mouse face. It's it's just uh, shapes, you know, basic shapes. And it's better than this one here. It's just a line, right? He kind of looks like Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Maybe it's just the coloring. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to start with the shape. Well, we'll start with this one. This is kind of a square. But uh, I can see there I can shape it a little bit. And I'm going to pick a color like this one and give it an outline. Uh, if you don't have an outline, it doesn't always look right. So it's not quite a circle. But I'm going to start with that for my basic mouth shape. I'm going to add a nose, which again, not, not exactly round, and we'll make it like a dark gray here. So there's your nose and your basic mouth shape. I'm going to add a line here for the actual mouth. We'll kind of give him a frown looking mouth, right? And then I'm going to use a straight line here for the mouse whiskers. 
and I'm going to use a freeform shape here for the two mouse teeth, which I think a mouse teeth are kind of longish, right? Yeah, mouse teeth are kind of long and thin, right? Maybe that's a little too long. Then I'm going to bring the, the line mouth up to the front. I'm going to bring that up to the front so that it kind of covers the... It looks more like the teeth are like protruding from the inside of the mouth. Hold on. I have to make this bigger so I can... You see how that is out of alignment? I want that more in line like that. Maybe the teeth are long and thin, kind of come to the front with a chiseled look for a rodent, right? There's my basic mouth that I just drew, and I don't have any talent at all. I just kind of looked over here at this picture and kind of got some idea, you know, looking at all these mouths. I don't have to use a specific mouth or anything. I just kind of get some basic idea of what they look like. And now back here to Ted here, let me take his, I don't want to see the bones right now because I'm not really interested in those, but I'm going to go under the sprite editor. Now you see here the mouth on the G3 character has a lot of different sprites. It's sprite driven motion that every time he makes a different sound or a different look for his uh, mouth, they use a different sprite. Right now, I'm just concerned with this one. Now, let me just say I've been doing this a really long time. Uh, I've, driven, I've probably drawn a hundred different of these characters. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is save the mouth, the initial mouth sprite. And I have a number of folders uh, under my animation. Uh, look here I have characters I have the different parts which the mouths would be their own part here are the tons of mouths that I've drawn um, but I also have uh, individual characters and I tend to put uh, just organize them this way so we're gonna start with the rodent here's a mouse I've already drawn I'm gonna create a new uh, folder for mouse 2 I'm gonna create a new folder here for mouse 2 and under mouse 2, I'm going to have another folder for his mouth. Because, as you'll see, so that's mouse mouth. And I'm just going to call this one normal. So I'm saving this mouth that I just drew as normal. And back here, the first uh, sprite is called normal, which I'm going to replace that sprite with my normal mouth sprite here. So here is Ted with his new mouse mouth sprite. Now there are 15 mouth sprites uh, that make up a mouth for the basic G3 character. I have I think six more that I've added for, for the characters that I use. But let's get started with these 15 basic. Actually, I should say there's only 14 because for, for some reason normal appears twice. So I'm gonna replace normal and let's make sure that we have those basically lined up, that they look basically the same. And then I'm gonna go back over here to my editor. I'm gonna, I have my normal mouth here, which I've used twice. I'm gonna duplicate it and we'll start with the next. The next easiest one to draw is the open lip uh, sprite. So I'm gonna make a line here that's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna line it up with the mouth here. So we'll make it look like the mouth's open a little bit uh, for the uh, open lip here. Um, and I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to, to, now to color in there, I'm going to use another shape. And I'm going to, this is the shape I use for the inside of a mouth. Um, and I'm just going to trace this over here.
will and that's a little sloppy so I'm going to line that up a little bit I'm going to send that to the back and then send this to the back and there is my open lip character actually uh, I, I need to bring this one up to the front and then bring this up to the front as well so there's the mouth uh, it's the same mouth but the lips are a little open and I'm gonna save this as open lip and then replace the open lip sprite with the open lip sprite that I just drew and I will make that fairly big and let's see how that looks there we go so there's your regular mouth and there's your open lip mouth see how he just kind of opens his lips a little bit now for the ah sound we don't need to um, draw any new shapes or anything uh, the ah sound is obviously the mouth's open a little bit more it's going to be uh, a little more narrow and but it's basically the same shape of the mouth only the only difference is the shapes a little bit more open so you oops so it's gonna look like ah uh, right and I'll move these move the shape to make it look like it's open a little bit more and there is your ah sound actually you know what let's make it a little open up here at the top too ah but all the shapes are there I'm just adapting them a little bit to the ah uh, sound there's your ah uh, there's your ah uh, sprite I'm going to save that as ah uh, and then go down here where is the ah uh, sound and replace the sprite ah is the next easiest one to draw and it's also the first one alphabetically so there's ah uh, open lip ah uh. u is a little bit similar but it's even more uh constricted i think and then and then drawn in a little the lips are drawn in a little more the e sound is the opposite of the u it's a little uh wider the mouth is wider and it's a little more it's flatter okay so here's the e sound but i'm gonna the the teeth are more showing they're more prominent And there's your E sound. And I save that as E. And there we go. The CDSK sound is very similar to the E, but not quite as wide. The teeth are a little more separated. Here I've also drawn in the lower teeth, but that's your CDSK. The L sound is a little similar, but not quite as wide, a, a little bit shorter, and with the tongue there behind the two front teeth. And that is called L N D T, which I, actually I don't see how that's an N, but that's what it's called. The F sound, very similar to the L N D T, 
maybe a little shorter and uh, with the lower lip is behind the front teeth to make the F sound. And we just want this shape here. Good. There we go. So, and it looks like the lip is behind the front teeth. And I'm going to draw two, I'm going to draw uh, a couple of really thin lines here to kind of show being kind of pulled under the teeth. Kind of go, f so that's the F sound. Now I've drawn here two circles. One is the color of the skin and one is the color of the inside of the mouth that I'm gonna use for three, my next three sprites. The first one is the Woo Sprite, which is, the Woo Sprite is, is the sound Woo, just what it sounds like. I need this a little smaller for the Woo sound. And I think for this one, I'm not even going to use the teeth. I'm just going to move the whiskers over here. And that is the shape of the mouth making the sound woo, which is part of the normal speech, I guess. The next one is the O sound, which really it's kind of the same, but I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and more round and take the lips and make them a little bigger here and center it that's the o sound only i think what i want to do is make it a little bit thinner so i'm gonna draw a circle at the inside of the mouth i don't want it to be that wide i'm gonna make the o a little bigger so that's the o sound looks a little bit different. looks like he's saying, making the sound of the letter O. The next one is mouth open, which is going to be the same again, but even bigger because this is supposed to be how, like the attack, you know, like the, the, like the mouse is about to bite you or something or swallow you whole maybe. So there is mouth open. I, you see on, on mouth open, I do the teeth, top and bottom. I do the little tongue there. But I guess that's intimidating. For the last three mouth sprites, there are three sprites that I use over and over. One is the smile that I, I went ahead and drew the uh, mouse teeth on. One is the pucker lips and one is the show teeth which um, I use those over and over. And so here is the smile open, the pucker lips, and the show teeth. Now, since I started this project, uh, my system crashed, so I have to start over. But it gives me a chance to uh, correct a mistake that I made. And let me show you a little, a little bit easier way to do this. Remember, in the beginning, when I replaced these sprites, uh, I had to resize them all. Because see how small it is? I, I don't want it that small. So I'm replacing the first normal sprite. And I'm just going to go straight through and just replace them all. Okay, now I've replaced all the sprites uh, for the mouth and I'm just going to resize it once because I know they all line up because I just replaced them all at the same time. I don't have to resize each one and then make sure they're all aligned because I already have uh, all that done. So this is uh, the mouse mouth and I'm going to go ahead and save this under my custom I think I already have a mouse in here. You see all my other mouths here. There, see there's my other mouse, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and save this one and call it mouse two. And there is my new mouse mouth. Now next we're gonna look at the eye. There are six eye sprites. There's normal, smile closed, uh, eye close, scare close, eye squint, and iris change. Now I've drawn a number of different kind of eyes, but for this, I wanna try something a little different because uh, mice have tiny little beady eyes. And so I'm gonna do like a dark, well actually, let's make them black. I'm gonna do little black eyes with a little white in there as kind of, I don't know if that'll be like an inflection or like a, you know, like a reflection on the solid black eyes or maybe that's a little iris, I don't know. But this is gonna be my mouse eye. And back here to my main mouse two folder, I'm gonna make a new folder for the eyes. and save this one just as normal eye because because I don't need a different eye for left or right. They'll both be the same. And then we'll have eye closed. And again, I just need one for left and right. There is smile closed. Scared closed, which I think, uh, now for this one, I'm going to need to, now for this one, I'm going to need to do a left and a right. So flatten all, select all, arrange, flip horizontal and save as scared closed right for squint eyed I'm gonna make the iris here a little smaller and I'm gonna flatten this so that I can just cut it down to size there. Sorry, I want to put a little line in there. So that's my squint eye. And again, I am going to have two for each side of the face. And duplicate and flatten all and select all and arrange flip horizontal, save as, squint left. <clears throat> and finally, I'm gonna copy this one more time for the iris change. I'm gonna make a line, or I'm gonna use the pen function and make that white and that should be white. There's your iris change. So there are my eyes. And once more, I'm going to replace all the sprites. And again, now that I have all the sprites changed, I'm going to just resize the, the eyes themselves. Okay. So it's back to normal and resize the eye. And there we go.
Now, how does my mouse look so far? Now, uh, these are just basic shapes, so I didn't feel the need to show you the whole process of drawing these, but the next thing I did was I did the face, which, okay, kind of oblong. I did the ear, which this is the left ear, and because of the way that, uh, because the way they've drawn the new Ted with the multiple sprites for the ears, I've actually done the um, outer and inner ears for the mouse. And again, these are just basic shapes. I didn't feel the need to look, you know, I only looked at the one face to just kind of get an idea of how to draw the mouth. I didn't, uh, you know, copy anything or infringe on anybody's creative work. Anyway, so there is the face and the ears. I also have several different kinds of eyebrows that I've drawn. These look good for our new mouse character. They're a nice color, they're, they kind of fit, but they're not so similar. Okay. I also have pre-drawn some hair, some of the triple hair here, but uh, I don't know, that doesn't really look right. Let's see if we can reposition it. I don't know. Maybe that looks okay. So uh, I went into my documents and I found this hair here, but let's fill this in with our... What the heck? Let's fill this in with our same color here. Oops. And then we will save it in the mouse two folder. And then we'll replace the sprite with the same color there. I have moved the uh, parts of his head around a little bit more, so he looks a little less severe. I saved the head here under content. And for the rest of the parts of this mouse, I kind of borrowed some parts from uh, other characters. Um, So I have the body here. I have the arms. Let's see, let's make sure this arm fits. It's a little too small. So there is the arm. I'm going to line that up a little better. That's a little too big, too. Okay, so there's the arm. And to make sure we have this aligned correctly, let's try this. Let's try the preview. So if it's not aligned correctly, it won't bend right. Okay, 
So that looks good. There's the one arm. Here's the other arm. We're going to replace that sprite. And these arms, again, I had drawn for somebody else, another character, and I just kind of recolored them so they match the colors of the of our little mouse here. Here we go. Let's make these, let's actually edit pose and move these arms down a little bit lower. Okay. The legs, I did the same thing with. We'll change those sprites. And make sure they fit there that they're the right size. Okay, they are. And I shaped these, these, I drew these as straight lines. Um, and in basically the same shape as Ted's. Uh, let's see, I drew, I took the foot, which are little paws from the hamster character that I had drawn earlier before. Okay, so his little foot paws. And for the hands, I have saved a pair of hands here earlier from the hamster. And there we go. There's our little mouse. Now for the hand sprites, I want to show you this. Um, I have my own set. Now Ted only had one hand sprite. But here I have a, a bunch of different little hand poses. A fist, uh, an open uh, one finger, two fingers. Uh, there's an extended, uh, another fist facing the other way. So there's always a front and a back open hand, extended hand, three fingers, three fingers, a thumb and a thumb. So, so I've drawn all of these different parts, but for this video, you only saw me do the mouth, the eyes, and the face, basically. So anyway, this is how I draw these characters. Uh, I think this one turned out pretty well. Thank you for watching. Leave any questions or comments below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. Peace.